Okay, guys, five things we learned. Manchester United versus Burnley or Burnley-Manchester United. Number one, Mejbri. I think Mejbri is a player which we, we were all excited of. Uh, the Tunisian player, he's from the academy. He is a bit direct. He didn't have a fantastic game, but he just played well. If you are Bejbri, you will be happy because Ten Hag did appreciate the guy, which means he has been training well and also be giving his import well. I think Manchester United, one of the most important things in Manchester United history has always been the youth. And when you have a youth like Mejbri, all you need to do is to support the project with the player involved. So uh, for me, Mejbri, I think uh, is someone with something that uh, we need to be proud of as United fans. Talking about proud. I think uh, Manchester United uh, ha fans have to be proud of the fact that we have a team that can always win even when we are not playing well. I don't think we did well in terms of uh, over in terms of the um, football on the pitch, you know. United were not the better side in football. We we gave up possession to Burnley and congrats to Company. That's a city legend who has changed the way Burnley plays. Remember back then with Sean Dyche, it was all about you know, old school English football, kick and run, long passes. And uh, Manchester United uh, were dominating the ball and uh, it was difficult for Manchester United to score them back then. But yesterday, Burnley, I was impressed with the way the movement of the ball of Burnley, they just lacked that quality back the pitch. Another thing I really noticed in that game, because this is a five things uh, we, um, we learned from Burnley versus Manchester United, is this guy, Bruno Fernandes, he was given the man of the match by us, uh, also by the media. And he gave it to Johnny Evans. He gave this to Johnny Evans. Said, Johnny Evans, you deserve it. And one of the reasons, and I think he's right, because I could easily also give it to Johnny Evans. But I gave it to him because I thought the goal made the difference, considering we were not very good on the pitch. Uh, um, um, this I haven't seen something like this before, where... Play because in the modern game, players always think about themselves. Back then, Ronnie could run his ass in the pitch. Now it's always, always about their brand. Very low mentality. What the gesture Bruno Fernandes did, Johnny Evans will never forget. I can repeat the gesture that he did, Johnny Evans will never forget because on the, obviously you're giving your title something like a pre, I mean an award which you married and you give it to the guy who was second bill and say no i think you did marry it but anyway uh, uh bruno fernandez there's no there is no uh, surprise for those of you who are asking why he's the captain of manchester united someone like harry Maguire will not do this uh, or maybe he can do it but i doubt because uh you know we know the mentality there uh, uh with those players the english-speaking players number 13 is our goalkeeper he has been on the nana has been on the serious pressure all these days and um all the fans not not most of the fans the younger one i guess and also the the media i think the media is hitting hard on him he doesn't have a british passport obviously so he will be uh, a target for the english media onana and uh, I think generally he hasn't done well and he has accepted that he took the responsibility in Munkin, but he's a good goalkeeper. One of the reasons, one of the many reasons we bought him was because he was very good on possession. He could play with his legs. This is what we didn't have with David De Gea. He is a good ball stopper. He was going to show this and he showed that. Some are saying the head which he saved was a saveable head, was, a ball, was an easy ball for him to take it out. But you know why? If he, if that goal went inside, we will blame the, we will blame him. We will blame Onana. So I think Onana, the fact that he came out, United came out with a clean sheet. Also, it's a very good sign. Talking about clean sheet, <laughs> those guys hit the bar, if I'm not mistaken, and twice, um, Burnley. But uh, I am generally happy for that we had a clean sheet yesterday. Uh, yeah, let me just wear this. I think we had a clean sheet yesterday. This is our merchandise. Yeah. So I'm very happy that we had a clean sheet yesterday and I think um, he had a good game. Another player I want to talk about, a thing I noticed yesterday, another thing I noticed about it is the unity in which we played. We played as a block, as a team. There were periods in which we we did went up to uh, offensive together. As a team, we fell back together. We played for each other. Tenak said before the game, yes, he wanted what, what he expected. After the game, he said, if we can play as a team, 
we will be difficult to, to defeat. I remember when we picked up steam against Liverpool. I really hope that this victory yesterday, it will give us that strength to move forward as we did with Liverpool. Tell me what you think below. Talking about things we think, I, uh, we think below, I will go directly to Mark Tomini. Mark Tomini for me, I did something yesterday in our match reaction. I talked about the man of the match, and I talk about the fraud of the match, the F of the match. Who is the F of the match who goes to fraud of the match? And I gave it to McTominay because I think this player, McTominay, he hides. He's a pretender. He's a nice guy. He's a lovely guy. You want to, might want to go out with, for a beer or a coffee, but he's a fraud on the pitch. He doesn't demand pause. Watch the way McTominay plays. I will invite anyone on our watch along if you're watching the game, and I will just explain to you how McTominay plays in order... To, 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 to sustain his career. You say, Ralph, why does Bayern need McTominay if he's that bad? Because he fits the Bayern system. He might not fit the United system because with the United system, you are highly scrutinized. No matter what you say about uh, Bayern Munich, I don't think Bayern Munich is a powerful pro proposition in terms of a club than Manchester United. We are highly scrutinized. There are a lot of lads who have made careers from using United name. And uh, that is why I think um, yeah, everyone talks about United, right? If you want to be popular, that's what you do. But us fans, you know, we talk about the club because we are fans of the club. And we talk about it. We talk about it. We have nothing to, to um, I mean, to gain. We only gain we want with victory. I, I saw a documentary, uh, not a documentary, a short clip about a, 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 a fellow blogger here, yeah, Mark Gobridge, who... Uh, folks are talking about how what he said was correct about the way United is ruled. I, I do, I do, I, I agree with that. I think Margot Bridge is someone which um, has always uh, been honest with the way he plays himself. But we'll talk about that for another another video. But what I think uh, uh, also in this game, which I must uh, uh, put on this uh, video, is simple. I think Manchester United will become strong because our players are coming back from injuries slowly. We saw Veran, Veran, Rafael Veran, who came into the pitch and made a slightly different. We saw Amrabat coming in. The way United want to play is the goalkeeper. There were many times that the goalkeeper had the ball and he was like searching who to give the ball. McTominay hiding, obviously. Casemiro was blocked in the midfield. And McTominay, you can see he's free, but he goes behind the goalkeeper to play his player and hide. So I think Amrabat coming, he might lose some of the balls, but Amrabat coming will help to link that. And I don't want this thing of, oh, Amrabat to come and change Manchester United. No. We have to up our... The only way we win, we have to up our collectiveness. I have said this, I can't... I mean, I can't stop saying this word. Our collectiveness. United need to up their collectiveness in order to be productive. So... With collectiveness football, the United will go to places because that's how football is all about. I think Marcus Rashford needs to put his head down. This is the third time I'm talking about Rashford on about Rashford's playing style, which he needs to learn how to play in his um, as a collective team. Football is a collective sport, and Marcus Rashford is just the, one of those prawns. I know he's now having some issues because fans are again talking against him, uh, and um, yeah, so. I just want to know. Um, I just want. To, I just want to know something about uh, the the. Who's calling me when I'm in video? Anyway, guys, that's what I uh, what I think. Tell me what you think below. What are your what are your things you thought? What are your your five things you notice against Burnley? Drop your comments below. I personally is I'm going to reply. I would love to hear what you. Maybe you saw things I didn't see. Maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you agree with me. Drop your comments below, and I'll be doing my preview against. Crystal Palace, as Manchester United will be playing Crystal Palace next week, then the Champions League uh, uh, Champions League game, then we go then Bradford also. So tell me what you think, and uh, yeah, have a lovely weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.